России будем выгонять. И этот крест есть наш величайший символ. Religious icons to exercise blasphemy. These Orthodox Christian and nationalist groups gathered in front of Moscow's Taganka courthouse have declared war against modern art, a holy war. Our aim is to defend Orthodoxy and our Lord Jesus Christ. We will do everything we can to drive out all these blasphemers and all those who sully our faith from Russia. And it is with this cross that we're waging our battle in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. In the Soviet era, censorship came from the Communist Party and the state. But today, it is extremist groups who are trying to muzzle a part of the intelligentsia by dragging them before the courts. The organizers of the Forbidden Art exhibition have really been put through the mill. Yuri Samadurov and Andrei Yerofeyev risked three years in prison, but finally got off with a fine of 9,000 euros for inciting anti-Christian hatred. It's more of a symbolic conviction, but still. Accosted as they leave the courthouse, they are free, but they are guilty. Guilty of having displayed the following works in Moscow in 2007. An icon hewn from caviar, Jesus advertising McDonald's, or for showing this photo montage. Since the trial began, Andrei Yerofeyev has received threats against his person. His work has made him the target of a vendetta being waged by splinter groups like the Narodny Sabor, the People's Council. It's really a direct attack on art itself. What's more, the Narodny Sabor announced after the judgment it would do everything it could to find and physically destroy the works in my exhibition. And the crusade is only just beginning. The extremists have lodged other complaints, targeting little-known artists. They found me on the internet and they've been hounding me for two paintings I did. This one represents the Russian soul. It reflects all the stereotypes that foreigners express about us the most often. A painting regarded as an insult by six nationalist organizations. In these conditions it is difficult to work, especially when the Russian state says nothing about such attacks on artists. To condemn this silence they are taking to the streets, protests that attract more and more people. The state, the FSB, the courts, they're supposed to serve the people and make sure order and the constitution are respected. This is a secular country. Church and state are separated. They can't impose their ideology on us. Yedefev and the artists are not giving up the fight yet then. Another exhibition is already planned for after the summer, an exhibition that already promises to be controversial. Its theme, contemporary caricature.